Hi friends, welcome to our channel, Education Hub. Today our lecture is on MS Access. MS Access may be difficult for any purposes, but due to database management system, it should learn everybody. So today we will try to learn it within one lecture. If you like it, then please like, share, and obviously try to subscribe our channel to get all the our lectures for that purpose press the bell button it will be quite easier for you to get all the lectures and obviously gives us some precious command what type of lecture you need in future first when i open access this page will open to your side here we have to select the blank database. When I select just the right side you can get there is the file name and a folder sign is come that means a path will be selected. Right now if I press the folder then therefrom I can choose our required path. Suppose here I am choosing desktop. Database 1 ACCDB is the extension of access. Next create. Default this page will come to our site. Delete it. Now I have to create the table. So for that purpose what we have to do? From the create option this field will come. Here I have to give the field name Suppose here I am giving product code, so P underscore code. Here the field name does not allow any space. Instead of space, here you can give underscore. Now the data type, I am selecting text. When I select, default size will be selected 255. As per our need, suppose here I am giving 6. Next, another field. P name. Name, so again the data type is text, but here also the field size I am changing. You can able to see from the screen. It is right now 40. Next I am giving another field name. Already the product code and product name is given. I repeat once more, field name doesn't allow any space. Instead of space, you can give underscore or any other. And in case of data type selection, proper data type selection, in case of MS Access, all the data types are enlisted. From this list box, we have to choose. Now I am writing the next one field that is price. Here I am selecting number. See several data types are there. I am selecting number. Next I am giving the next field name. Suppose it is rate of interest. Here also it should be number. When I click on the number Default the field size will come as long integer. I can change this also. Here I will change this. Default in case of all number it will come as that. Now I am giving primary key to the P code from the design. Select from the left side of the row. Give the primary key. Now, after that also, I what I already told you, I am changing the this selected number. Now it is, I am making it double. And the format, I am making it as percent. So here from the format and field size, you may change. After that, I am trying to save this table. From the save option, just I click on there, giving the product 
as our table name. Pressing OK. This table is right now created. Now I am deleting, just cross this, that means I am right now stop this table. Again I have to create another table. Create table design therefrom. Giving again just as transaction code, tier code. Here also I am giving the field data type as text. Here from I am giving you the size of the text. I am giving the transaction date. Date and time. Data type I am selecting right now. If I select the date of time, the format will be sev several. I am here selecting the short date. Similar P code I am giving here. Here the P code that the product code comes as foreign key. So B specific on the data type and size. What is in product ability was? I have to do the same thing here also. Now the down payment field I am preparing. Down payment, obviously number type and another field is amount due. Amount due also number type. Again the same way, I select the tier code right now. Please follow the screen. Where from I am selecting? Now again I am giving primary key. Table name. Suppose I am giving transaction. Press OK. See here the two tables is right now prepared. Before doing any other word or other work be specific every work should be closed in MS Access now both are closed right now now from there database tools relationship I'm selecting both the table then add now I'm selecting the primary key on product table and drag it up to the transaction table. Now here I'm marking enforce referential integrity, casket update and casket delete. Enforce referential integrity tell you that they are related right now update and delete means if it is updated in one table it will be reflected on another table also then create if I create on that I repeat once more enforce referential integrity so Whatever the primary key consisting data that only reflected to our secondary that means uh, our foreign key data and cascade update and delete telling you that now query design before query design I have to give some data records here 
just from the view option you are getting data sheet view design view where I am designing right now in data sheet view where I will give some value try to insert some values just follow the screen here I am trying to insert some values that is primary product code product name then from price rate of interest be specific when you enter some data it should be row wise don't try to do it in column wise because after that in any query or in case of the referential integrity create some problem so data should be inserted row wise not at all column wise follow the screen just one by one data records I am maintaining here primary key consisting for code the pre code is here so for that when we enter the data that must be specifically different because they are should be unique this way already three fields is right now filled up see here we have some plus sign just beside the p code see the left size there is a plus sign if i click on that plus sign what will happen the transaction code transaction table will open let's see that see that the transaction table is also opened when I click on the plus sign if it is open then also you can enter data in product table just see this right now I am entering some records in product table that will not reflect our transaction table but when I click on transaction table then only the transaction tables data records we can give from the product table as because they are interrelated with the referential integrity so to enforce referential integrity we can specify that they are right now related so from the product table that is the master table therefrom we can insert data to the foreign key consisting table follow the screen please here also I am giving the values just two transaction tables values I am putting here we can give more also but it's uh, just for a lesson so I am giving only two
see from related to every product code transaction code will open so this is our table data insertion now i am selecting the both the table you can able to see the data is right now inserted so place the save button once right now i am closing that means whatever the data will be inserted to this table is right now it is enlisted I'm opening to both table and here from you can able to see this. Now I'm closing this both tables. So how to insert data and it is right now done our motto to design query so for that what we have to do go to create option then from the create query design query design then add both table At first, see the amount due field is right now also vacant. By using the update query, we will do that. See, here are several queries. Select query to select some data records. Append query to append some data. Create table. By giving some query, we can create some table. Update query to update the data values what is inserted. Delete query to delete any data records from the table. Several tables, several types is there. Right now our first one I am choosing update the amount due field from the price minus down payment amount. Price is in the product table. And transaction table consists the field of down payment amount as well as amount due field also. So I am selecting right now update query. I repeat once that there are several types of query select, create table, cross table, append update delete first one i am trying to learn update query by using the update query we want to update the amount due field in transaction table from the data fields given by the product table that is the price and transaction tables see I am selecting right now update now after selecting the update query I am just coming and upload uh, double click on the product table price column Or mainly we need amount due field. So at first I am selecting the amount due. From the transaction table I am double clicking on there. Just follow the screen. Here in our channel. Just beside of the screen. I am telling the steps wise. It will be more beneficial for our students. That's why. See, double click on the amount you fit. It is right now coming. Now, 
any more field also double clicking I can insert here it is one thing I have to tell you suppose I insert this three but I am right now thinking that it's an update query so I don't need it so select it press delete it way you can delete the queries fields also now only one field is there amount due right click on the criteria sorry update to then from table product table price press minus then I am selecting transaction that is down payment amount now field ok so what I did An update to field right click from there build and therefrom just I select that product code price and transaction tables down payment amount then click on run see they are telling you are about to update two rows if I press ok it will be updated now you can check it also amount due field is right now filled up so save it I'm saving it as a query one you can give any other name also then cross it one thing mandatorily please remember after working one thing that is select sorry table creation referential integrity creation every phase if you are changing or from one query to another query you are going there also please close all the tables and as well as close the other tables also here I am opening another tables also now the record is running select all the details whose transaction is made on and before 9 September 2017 say 2015 in that way I am here double clicking product code product name price then amount due any other field whatever you want you can select from there conditions is given that is transaction date I am selecting the transaction date also there I have to give the criteria greater than equal to because on and after on and after specified date I am selecting so for that I am giving greater than equal to on and before if it is given then lesser than equal to sign should be given then I am giving the specified date the date format already I select short date that is date then month then year year so I select on there and run it it will show you the result then select this query also I am selecting this as a query 2 save it and close all thing next I have to open the next one next we will do another query again I am selecting create query design both tables should be added
here I am taking product code, product name, price and rate of interest. Here I am trying to prepare another tab, another field. We can create field from here also. But if from the query I have to create field, then the create field option or the update option I have to select. Therefrom I have to give. You can proceed that way also. But it will be more complex. So to avoid that complexity, what can we do that? Just open the product table. See that way also what the screen is showing that way also possible but it will be more complex as I told you before. So skip that part. I'm just skipping. I'm not writing anything here right now. So what should we do? Just directly open the product table. From there. Just add a field. Write down. I'm writing here interest payable. From the design view, interest payable, make it as a number. Now from there, save that field and then Again, we will start running the product program, the query once more, that is create query design. Add both field. Here from interest payable I'm adding also. So it will be update query. So I'm selecting the update query. Now update to from the build. Select product table. Rate of interest. Now from the build I am selecting this rate of interest as well as amount due. Rate of interest into amount due. So it will give you the resultant value. Now after that run they are telling Will be updated. So after that, I'm selecting this query also. one more query we are doing right now I 
again from create query design here I'm selecting both table now suppose the refrigerator's cost is increased a uh, product cost is increased by 3% due to heavy demand so the price I'm selecting any other field you can select also or doesn't also it is also update query Let's follow the screen. I'm giving you the sign, uh, silent mode something because that period you can able to follow the screen properly. Because whatever I am telling simultaneously the work is also going on and it's my request to all my friends please do yourself also whenever you will visit. You can view it and simultaneously you can also do your task. Now I am doing like the same thing. Update query. Here the price I want to increase. And a product name also I select. Suppose the product name in criteria I am writing that. Suppose this is refrigerator. Now update to. Here also you can update, right click, go to build, product table, price, into, listen, 3%, directly if you write 3%, it will not work. See this, it will not work. See, our error message is coming. What you have to do? 3% increase, that means 1 is there. Suppose 1 is the full price, 1 is there. 3%, that means 0 0.03 or 3%, 30, if it is 30%, then 0 0.3. So, multiplied by 1.03, I am writing because 3 by 100 equal to 0 0.03. So, that way. Now it will give you the result. They are asking that you want to update it. If you press OK, then it will be updated. Got it? Direct 3% will not allowed. Mandatorily, please remember. So, see this, here also it is updated. Now, the last one query we want to design, that is delete query. Suppose one value from transaction table I want to, so I select only the transaction table, delete query. Suppose the transaction code, I select everyone. Just double click. Or you can drag and drop also. Now I am deleting. Before that what I have to delete. Suppose whose transaction code is P111. That I want to delete. So I am writing it in criteria P111 in double quotes. Now run it. You are about to delete they are asking if you press then please select see this it is already deleted so this is the delete query so today we learn up to 
update query, select query and delete query. Now save this. So how to design query runs so it is right now known to your site. Two essential more features is available in our access form design. So our next topic is form design. Here in case of form design there is a font and view will be available for your site wherefrom you can add navigate or save any data records. Just follow the screen. You can able to get how to do that. Here create form design. This box wise design will come to our site. Therefrom this should be I have to select control wizard from there existing field tables now I am transaction table I am selecting just double click one by one will become but you can design also because it is form design so you can design in your own way also possible now from there here several options you can able to get you can click on the button also I am selecting the button but it will not work why see this when I click it will not work why because before doing that, I have to specify it. Here the option is control wizard. Just see this. Right now my cursor will goes there. See this. That is, it should be enabled. That means it should be yellow colored. Then only it will be active. If it is active, then you start your work. See when I draw this double button right now, this wizard will come to our side. Here from I am selecting first one operations that is add operation add new records next give any relevant name of this command see this is add record similar way I am selecting another I am so checking that whether the wizard is open or not. If it is wizard is open, control wizards every time it should be checked that it is open or enable or not. Again, I am selecting next one. Save the record. That way, delete record, entry record, whatever you want, you can do. I am selecting another. delete record this is right now save and clear close it open see here here you can give any records values transaction table transaction code is the primary key so it should be unique if you click on add it will be there you can add but if you forget to save the record it will not saved it will not reflect in your table just check it follow the screen I add I press on the add but it is not reflected now again come back suppose right now I am giving another values today's transaction I am selecting
and save record see it is now reflected so after another features I will learn that is report generate whatever you will do from that what you have to do again create from report I am selecting here the report wizard just the transactions details I am selecting here you can make any field as your primary key or that is heading as purpose not at all primary key sorry that purpose also ascending descending also order also possible see the transaction tables reports is generated so within this lecture you can able to get all the features of access if you like it then please subscribe our channel and follow our videos by pressing the bell button therefrom you can get all the records all the lectures details and obviously welcoming you the most precise your commands what lecture you want next give us command we will prepare that way so please like share subscribe as well as press the bell button thank you